Well, I think overall the turnovers, um, 13, 18, 15, great. Fourth. Um, and that, that's not for us a bit. Where you got going, pick rolls, our time, you know, keeping them under control as well. Um, you guys were great at getting to the line until the fourth as well, and then kind of dried up. How much, I guess, how should we kind of process that, or how much effect is that? To the well, I'm not really sure what the question was. Like, uh, we didn't get to the line. I, I get that. How much um, of a difference did that? Make? I mean, it's a huge difference. And I thought, you know, we, we were aggressive early. Uh, you know, still scored quite a bit in the paint, which, which is a good sign. But, uh, um, you know, you just have to kind of keep that mindset. Continue to play downhill, play with force. Uh, maybe you get to the line, get to, you know, get a whistle. But uh, I thought we stagnated a little bit in that second half, turned it over. You know, that was a big issue. Um, and they made big plays. I give them credit. They made you know, timely plays. Took the lead, so it's it's a tough one. You match those big plays a lot of the time. What do you think overall? Kind of the effort, despite the, the oh yeah, the effort was good. I'm, I'm pleased with the effort. I thought you know really really had a good game. Um, you know, I thought there was a you know, we had some spurts there. It was it was it was great, but just to being able to sustain it, you know, into the third, give up two quick threes. You know that that kind of shifts the momentum. Um, then a big quarter, you know, 30 plus quarter in the fourth is just, it's tough. It's tough to absorb. Wes, they were in the final minute or the final 40 seconds. I think there were a couple, two occasions where KP had mismatches on smaller players, much smaller players. Would you like to see him be more aggressive there and and uh, try to overpower them? Like that? Well, I, don't, you know, I think he just has to. Um, Get to his spot and raise up. I mean, I don't think he's gonna, he's gonna impact his shot a whole lot. Um, you know, I think overall, uh, through the course of time, those, those type of plays have gone in our favor. Uh, those type of switches, if they want to put a small on him, I'm very comfortable with him making a play. Uh, you know, he's still getting his legs under him, so I, I think he'll, uh, I think he'll be fine. They were, uh, I think there was one occasion there where there was just a miscommunication, a lack of familiarity. Uh, is that the kind of thing that happens when someone just arrives without any practice? Um, I'm not going to blame it on that. I just think, you know, at times we get a little careless. Um, but, uh, you know, th those unforced errors in the fourth quarter, you just have to minimize those. You know, those, are, those are plays you don't get back. But with uh, Sadransky, for the most part, very late in the game, what was your thinking there? Was that? Just size of the ball. Defense? Yeah, you know, it's, he still had a his hands full. Reggie played extremely well, but uh, just get a little bit more size. You mentioned Bruce's game, but was this the, one of the best uh, games uh, since he came back? Um, I, I'm not looking strictly at the numbers. Um, I, I thought he was, uh, you know, played an even game on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, he was, he was pretty good with his coverage. He's pretty good with, you know, his level of communication. Uh, I think I think solid defensively. So I think overall, I'm not going to categorize it as a, you know his best outing, but uh, I thought it was a complete game for him. Sorry, defensively, he had to cover the veteran players. Uh, Maurice, production. He did well. I mean, it's a it's a tough out. You know, he, he's a uh, to guard those catch and shoot guys. They're moving constantly. Um, it's a little different field than you know the traditional fours who are more you know. Inside of three, try to overpower you. Um, so it's good to see that he can do some of that. Wes, what was Gaff doing to ensure that he didn't rack up foul calls? Say again. What was Gaff doing to ensure that he didn't rack up foul calls? I just thought he was good with his technique. Um, he was being in the right spot, showing his hands, um, and you know, solid discipline tonight. Um, that's part of it. It's just part of growth and, and understanding what, what guys are trying to get to. Was how promising were those lob dunk connections between Ish and, and Gafford, and, and why are they as, as successful as? Well, I mean, Ish is, uh, he, he gets out of pick and roll and puts a lot of pressure on, on the defense with his quickness. Uh, Gaff, as we've all seen, is able to get out you know, from, from screening and get on the rim quickly, puts a lot of force on the, on the paint. And once he gets airborne, I mean, he, he can throw it as high as you want and go get it. But um, there's a good connection, good synergy there. So I'd like to see that continue. Chase. 
Hey, Wes, uh, what are you seeing from Porzingis and Gafford as a one-two duo at the center position? Well, overall, it's been solid. You know, I think it, it's a different field. Um, you know, with KP's ability to stretch the defense, Gaff obviously puts a lot of pressure on the rim as a roller. Um, both have, you know, good length and size up front. But just the, the ability to mix and match, kind of give offenses, our offense, you know, a different feel and the defense a different look. And what do you think uh, was, I guess, going wrong with the three-point defense uh, tonight with them able to capitalize from the perimeter? Well, they got some easy ones. Um, you know, I think overall, the coverage was solid. Um, we had some breakdowns late. Obviously, those two threes in the, at the end of the third were, uh, you know, those, those are just easy looks. Uh, Kennard just walks into threes in transition. Um, those are the ones we wanted to try and take away. Yeah. Hey, Coach, what were you trying to draw up on that last possession once uh, the Clippers went up, and what did you think of the shot that Porzingis got? Uh, the, the final play or the play before? I guess the play before when you're down two. Yeah. 11, yeah. We were looking to get, you know, a pick and pop, and if they guarded it the way they guarded it, the second side and get them in the post versus switch. Um, and, we, and we got that. It just didn't, you know, didn't, didn't go for us. And obviously it's, you know, not easy, even if you have a size advantage to, you know, just back somebody down and get right to the rim. But do you think that Porzingis has settled a little bit too much? And I know small sample size, two games so far. I, I don't think so. I mean, um, just getting a feel for, you know, what he likes and where he wants to get the ball. Um, and once again, I think he, he can get a shot off you know, over anyone he wants. I'm not uh, overthinking that. Uh, I think he, he puts a lot of pressure on the paint. The teams want to switch, and he's, he's a capable playmaker from that spot. So uh, in general, I, I would say I'm, I'm comfortable where we are with him. Thanks, Coach. Christos. Hello, Coach. Hope you're doing well. Speaking about KP, what did you see about the way he get acclimated in the team in the first couple of games as a wizard? I'm sorry. Say that again, please. Yeah, what did you see from KP the way that he get acclimated in the team and the systems as a, in the first couple of games as a wizard? It's coming along. Um, I, you know, it's still going to be a work in progress. Just not having reps with the group, uh, not having a total feel of uh, you know, our offensive package, but it'll take some time. Um, but, you know, he, he's coming along. So, um, you know, we'll just work our way through it, but uh, we're not going to put too much on it. You know, try to keep things simple so you can have a clear head and go out and just perform. You know, it's kind of a, a reoccurring thing for us. You know, coming out of ATOs and messing up plays, you know, it's something that we gotta we have to correct because we can control that. So um, that's kind of what it boils down to. Just talking about coming out of ATOs, Wes said um, just kind of holding on at, at the end of games is something you guys have struggled with. Is that a mindset issue? How do you, what's the core of that? Um, I mean, we just got to do a better job of identifying what we're trying to get out of. Um, you know, that's that's kind of you know why you see you've seen this pattern. Um, we got to do a better job collectively of you know identifying okay what action are we trying to get to, um, what's what mismatch are we trying to uh, you know uh, get, and what kind of look we're trying to get, and uh, you know that's something we haven't done, and um, you know. We got to figure it out. So. It looked like you, it looked like you guys were matching their energy, shot for shot. How much motivation was there for this game after the last Clippers game? Uh, I mean, there's motivation, but you know, we, we got a good lead, and you know, uh, coming off a win, you know, this is a disappointing one for sure. You know, we we had the game, uh, we had a ten point lead at one point, and even you know when they did walk us down, we went shot for shot. You know, went down to the last forty seconds, and uh, you know. We kind of pooped ourselves. So there was that uh, miscommunication pass, I think, between uh, you and KP or KP. What, what happened on that play? Is that something that's. Uh, which one was it? I forget exactly what the, what the sequence was, but there was one where I think one of you was going to go one way, and there was a, yes, a lack of familiarity with each other. Oh, uh, I mean, that one. Uh, you know, we, we just we just didn't read each other. Um, 
you know, I was trying to go get the ball. They were denying me, uh, you know, might fake them out a little bit. Uh, you know, it was just one of those plays that, you know, you just, just a, a F up, so. Chase. Hey, Kuz. Um, just what was it like to to be back at uh, you know the arena you, you began your career in and in, in back playing in LA? Uh, I mean, it's a little different. I mean, Clipper games ain't Laker games, so I mean, it's two separate arenas really, and now it's crypto. So, um, you know, we, we'll get to real taste of this arena Friday. And speaking of that, uh, what what are your thoughts going into that that game and um, you know playing against your former team? Uh, I mean, like I said, we had a disappointing loss tonight. Uh, we got to win that game. You know, every single game, we got to come out um, having a winning mentality. Um, you know, obviously, it's a big game for me and Pope. Obviously, this is where we've been and won championships at. So, um, you know, we just got to figure out how, how to win, how to win the next game. So. Neil. Hey, Kud, you guys had... 15 free throws in the first half, just five in the third quarter, none in the fourth quarter. Do you feel like you guys are doing anything differently, not attacking as much, or just whistle didn't necessarily go your guys' way late? I mean, we shot our jump shots. So, I mean, you're not getting, you're not getting to a line when you shoot jump shots. Point blank period. You know, obviously, you probably put your head down and do something. But, you know, we didn't really shoot that many jump shots. You know, we maybe had maybe two calls in the fourth that, you know, could have went our way. Uh, one with Gap under the rim, offensive rebound, didn't call nothing. And then uh, KP driving, kind of looked like one, but uh, they give it to us. And if the refs don't call it, they don't call it. It's not a foul. So, um, you know, we got to do a better job, obviously, when we are in those situations, looking for fouls, not complaining, and, and just getting back and, and, and getting back into the game. You know, I, I felt like a lot of times during this game, um, you know, we got outside of ourselves, uh, you know, worrying about, things that we can't control. And, um, you know, it's not a good look. And for you saying that, you know, you take it on yourself that you should have been more aggressive late. Is that just part of your overall learning curve of, you know, this kind of new, bigger role that, you know, you're in now? No, I just figuring out my spots, you know, playing with KP. Um, obviously, you know, he's a big opposing guy. Uh, and we love to get him in, in mismatches with smalls. Um, but then on top of that, you know, just fig just figuring out you know, spots and spaces at, at the end of the game and, um, you know, figuring out, you know, what coach wants uh, us to do, you know, in those type of situations. So. Thanks, Kuz. Mm -hmm. Last question to Christos. Hey, Kuz, hope you're doing well. Uh, Detail-wise, what would you like to improve or what would, would you like to change after that game? After this game? Yes. Um, I just got to be more aggressive, that's all. And for the next games, how encouraging was the way that you fought as a team, the way that you play for full 48 minutes? How encouraging was that for you? Uh, I mean, it's, I'm not one for moral victories, you know, at the end of the day. You know, I'm all about trying to get dubs. So, um, I mean, we competed. I guess that makes everyone happy, but, um, you know, we still can compete for 45 minutes and lose a game and all the 45 minutes doesn't matter. So, um, you know, there's that. How are you feeling two games now? Good, you know, I have my moments when, you know, I'm pretty tired, but I, of course I want to play more and, uh, and, and, and you know, keep, keep building every game, play more minutes. Uh, so, yeah, feeling good. Just frustrated about the loss, which is normal. Uh, we had the game. In our hands, um, our late game execution wasn't you know, perfect. And, and large part of that, I feel like it's on me. I could have played a lot better down the stretch. That turnover to Kuz, and then the, and then you know a couple more plays. Uh, but it's it's you know it's normal. It's like the second game back, and 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 then we haven't had a chance to play with each other and get a feel for each other. So um, I think I think. Uh, it's a very winnable game for us, um, but you know this is a game we can we can build off of and, and, and keep going and, 
and uh, keep you know playing together and, and keep uh, building that um, connection on the floor. How much do you think those little things in the fourth quarter were things that would have been fixed, like you said, if you had just a little more time, a little more familiarity? Yeah, one hundred percent. I think. I think those guys and myself. I haven't played with them, and they haven't played with me. You know, especially in these late, late um, game situations where the pressure is up. So, I think yeah, just um, there were simple ones too. You know, missed a pretty good look and and a couple turnovers or whatever, and then. Just, just small lapses that, that we can clean up easily, um, but that will come with time and that will come with minutes on the floor. There, there were a couple occasions there in the last minute of the fourth quarter where you had some a mismatch against shorter guys. You, obviously, you didn't like the results, but are you happy with the, the decisions you made and the, the, uh, what transpired there? Yes, yes and no. I'm, I was you know, happy that, that you know, my teammates found me in the situations and. Um, but I have to, I have to be effective, you know, and I want to get those buckets or or, or kick it out to my teammates. And uh, some of those passes could have been a bit, a bit uh, sharper, a bit more in point for the shots. Uh, so I, I will look at all the little things that I can clean up and I can do better, definitely, going forward. Um, but yeah, I think I think uh, the way we are as a group, um, it's uh, I think we're we're on the right path. You know, everybody's connected, everybody's together. Uh, everybody's sharing the ball and uh, and playing together. And uh, if you do that on the offensive end, the, the defense will kind of just, the energy will be there for the defensive end. So um, I think it's a good game to build off of. What did you see defensively with the team's three-point defense? What do I see? Yes. Um, I, think, I, think, I think we could do some things better. I think uh, um, pick and roll coverages, I think, like we did, like we did late game, uh, when the when the big is up a bit more, um, I think it's more difficult for the opposite team. It requires us big to to use a little bit more energy, you know, and be up there and be more aggressive. But um, but I'm sure you know our, our coaching staff will will make those adjustments if needed if they see it the same way. Um, And then a couple of like a couple of small lapses too, maybe maybe helping too much when we don't need to help as much. Uh, and then they got the kick out to the corner and then the extra pass to Batum. And also um, also knowing um, when when do we stunt hard and when do we rotate actually, you know, little little details I think during the game that we can that we can be a bit more sharper and bit read read a bit quicker and, and we'll be better. But but overall yeah, I'm I'm happy. I'm, and uh, you know it's a loss. I think we could we could take a lot of good things from this game. Hey man, uh, what do you think about the way that you and Daniel Gafford could, could sort of complement each other as a one-two punch at the center position? Uh, you mean like when I'm on the court, like just well, like together. I guess, uh, like as a as a duo, not necessarily on the court at the same time, as a center rotation. Yeah, no, I think both of us were lob threats, but he's obviously much bigger lob threat. Um, I can stretch the floor more, you know. With him, with him, whenever he's rolling to the basket, he just draws so much attention because of that, and guys get open looks just because of him, you know. And that's something you know, but not everybody sees. But but uh, he's you know he's very valuable in that sense. Um, and yeah, he just you know he brings it every night, plays with energy. And, um, he was getting into it with uh, Zubats, I think, or so, I don't know who. Uh, so, you know, he has that competitive fire, and, and, and I love that about him. So, um, you know, he's, 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 he's been great. And, and, and yeah, we, 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 you know, we, we expect that from him, and, and uh, I hope he can play, keep playing at this level. And you had a, a nice pass to um, Rui Hachimura in the first half as he was running baseline. Um, how would you describe, you know, your chemistry with him so far and, and what you think of him as a player? Yeah, no, he's, he's awesome. Uh, he's, uh, he kind of reminds me of Kawhi, the way he moves kind of, and, you know, big, strong body and not, you know, Kawhi is, is obviously who he is, but, but Rui has the potential and he has the talent definitely. And, and, you know, you could see, um, what he was, you know, he's capable of doing a lot of really good things out there. Like, like he did tonight he had a great game, um, He's uh, I think he needs to keep working and 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 and, uh, and you know fulfill his his potential. 
Yeah. Hey, Chris Stapps, when you're in the post and you have a smaller guy on you, what's kind of the balance of, you know, you're not always going to be able to just back somebody down and get right to the rim. What's kind of the balance of trying to do that versus, you know, maybe passing out of it versus, you know, taking a mid-range jumper? Yeah, yeah, that's that's the, um, I would say that's like, um, for me at least, I haven't played for a month or so, second game back. How I feel about today's game is that, um, there's like a, you need to find that rhythm and that, uh, like you, to, to to make the perfect reads, you have to have that time and 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 that get that really good rhythm in there, you know, to see everything what's happening, to see anticipate who's gonna rotate who, and then you can make the perfect pass and 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 get really clean looks or attack. Um, I feel like I'm still, you know, working my way there, you know, especially now being able to play make out of there. Um, I'm gonna need a little you know, a little bit of time, a little more, um, just touches down there to, to feel really good and then, you know, get a, get a better rhythm. But um, I try, I try, I try to make the game easier whenever I see, you know, a couple guys around me or, you, yeah, just, just trying to make the game easier for my teammates and, and kick out some open shots. And if not, attack myself and, and those turnaround jumpers are, are uh, you know, a pretty comfortable shot for me. And I feel like I can make it a lot of, a lot of time, a lot of times. And then pregame before you warmed up, you, you know, had the autograph with the fan it seemed like, you know, he was happy to be able to meet you, things like that. Does that still, you know, gratify, you know, this, you the same way that in the past, maybe? Always. Yeah. I think I, I appreciate it now even more than, than early in my career, you know, at the end, we play this game for the fans, you know, and they're the ones that enjoy us, you know, competing out there and supporting us and buying tickets and all that. So, um, I always take my time to shine, uh, to sign for for kids or, or for whoever that is out there supporting. And uh, so, yeah, it's always, uh, you know, it, it's just a moment for me, but it can make somebody's day. Thanks, KP. Thank you. Christos. Hey, KP, hope you're doing well. After your first couple of, ga couple of games with the team, how, how comfortable do you feel into the system, into the game plan? How comfortable do you feel so far? I feel pretty good. I feel comfortable right away. Um, coach, the coaching staff and, and my teammates, I think, have helped me tremendously. Um, there's a lot of plays I still need to learn and, and to know every call and every situation. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty smooth transition, I would say. And, and also just being in the, in, the, uh, in the spot where, you know, the ball comes through me a lot and then we just, you know, play out of there. It kind of helps me to get a, get a rhythm, you know, quicker during the game. So, um, yeah, the team is phenomenal. Everybody has been phenomenal. I'm really happy and, and uh, you know, I'm excited for, for, for the future for us. And you mentioned before that it's a great game to build off uh, of about that game against the Clippers. What would you like to build on that effort, on that performance overall for you about the next games on the road trip? Um, I think our effort was there. You know, that's one thing we, we were, you know, as long as I've been here, it's it's been there. Um, uh, I think I think well, this game, for example, we we just had a few a few like mental lapses, a few moments that that we can't allow if we want to be a really good team that we that we can't have. You know, so it's at the end, it's just the games are so close. It's all about little details, and and uh, I think we they were better. They were a bit more experienced. They didn't make a turnover. They you know they were just a bit better, and I think we have to clean those things up especially down the stretch and the result could have been a lot different.